Hello, hola, I'm bonjour, everybody. This is Doug from Macrill Bros Bodybuilding, representing half a MB3. Three. three. And today, the video is about, it actually, it's kind of, it sparked an idea of what happened. Okay, so, let me start from the beginning. If you haven't seen the last video we made about the bench press challenge, go check it out right here. Anyway, after you watch that video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, the bench press challenge, your body weight times max reps. So it was a little competition. We made a video response to uh, Natty Muscle, his channel, or as we call him, Fatty Muscle. Anyway, he got 18 reps, and I got 19, and Matthew got 23. So a guy that I competed with at the Natural Ohio, Ryan Clarkin, he made a video response to us and uh, Fatty Muscle, and he got 18 reps. So he, he has a new channel, it's called Fitness on Fire. He's kind of changing the name around, but he has good info, he's a good, he's a good guy, so uh, we'll leave a description, or a link in the description box below, so go check out his channel. Anyway, we're going to do a collab later this year once summer hits, he lives about an hour away. And uh, yeah, anyway, so we were talking, we kept in contact after the show, and uh, we were both saying that we don't really do a whole lot of barbell bench all the time. Excuses, I know, but... Um, Anyway, so I was thinking about it, which is more beneficial, a dumbbell flat bench or a barbell flat bench, which develops your chest muscles better, uh, tears more fibers. So I'm going to make a video showing both, giving you guys some differences, kind of like that back pull down versus pull up video. Um, and yeah, you guys can try it out for yourself. I'm pretty tired right now. I just got home from doing legs at the gym. I was squatting I got uh, 275 for four reps and if you guys have followed the channel uh, for a while now you know that's pretty good for me so I guess it's lucky it wasn't a it wasn't a squat challenge a eh, Ryan because those uh <laughs> those physique competitors don't train legs right anyway on to the video all right guys so if you've gone to the gym before and you're watching this channel I can only assume you've done a barbell bench press before it's one of the most basic chest exercises and compound movements in general. So I'm sure it's kind of redundant to show you guys how to do it because I'm sure you already know how. Um, but let's look at the mechanics of it a little bit. So your hands are placed out on a barbell. They're stationary, meaning they don't move. You come down, touch your chest, back up, and repeat. And you know, the different grips, if you're a little wider, it's going to hit your outer chest. If you're inner, it's going to target more your triceps. But that's kind of key because if you're farther out it's going to hit your outer chest but if you go farther in it's kind of targets more your triceps not really your inner chest so that's one thing that I've noticed in a lot of people's physiques is that they lack inner chest and I know some people it's kind of controversial or however you say that that um, that there's only like I don't know whatever I was I was reading that Arnold encyclopedia and that, I don't know, or Scooby was saying something about it, that you can't work your inner chest or something like that. Now, I'm kind of calling BS on that, but that's just my opinion, because if you use dumbbells, all right, what you're going to do is you're going to come up, and you're not going to go straight up. What you're going to do is push up and in a little bit, like this. In. I don't know if you can even see this on the camera. Anyway, that's going to hit. When you do that, if you just right now put your arms out and go straight out and lock it, or if you go in, you're obviously going to feel your chest flex a lot more when you go in. It's kind of like a fly almost. So that's really going to stimulate a lot of fibers on the inside of your chest and really bring up those striations right there. And uh, so I would, in my opinion, that might be more beneficial to do that. But then again, you want the compound movement, even though they're both compound movements, obviously barbell bench is like one of the most basic things there are in, uh, in lifting. So... I hate to say it kind of like the other back video that like they're both beneficial because obviously they are so I don't know if I'd narrow it down to one but there's some differences so if that help you guys helps you guys out at all um, maybe if you're trying to build up your inner chest I would definitely recommend some uh, dumbbell benching so anyway guys I hope this video helps you I hope you guys like it speaking of that you can actually like it throw it on a comment and even subscribe and remember guys, there's always more on the way, so stay tuned. Keep on pushing. <laughs> oh, pushing. Come on. Keep going. Woo.
I can help the weight off. Keep on pushing. Now you're getting into 